Violence erupts in Jacksonville's College Garden neighborhood with bullets riddling a home. And now a 12-year-old child may never walk again. JSO tells us that child was lying in bed Saturday night when the gunfire started. The neighborhood is not far from Edward Waters College. Police are telling us that the shooting was on College Circle South. News from Jackson reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us live. Marilyn, you found what may have been the home involved in this. Yes, and police are hoping to make an arrest soon. They didn't give us an exact address, but the home that we saw had what appeared to be several bullet holes, multiple. You can see them in the windows and the walls of that house. I spoke with a few neighbors there who say they often see children playing in that front yard, and they're just heartbroken to hear what happened. This video from Saturday night shows investigators surveying a house on College Circle South where gunshots were fired into. Monday, our cameras went back to the neighborhood after JSO released new information that a 12 year old boy was shot that night while lying in bed and he may never walk again. And then to hear that a 12 year old boy is now paralyzed. Oh God. I've been trying to move for the longest. JSO didn't give an exact address, but we found a home with what appears to be bullet holes in the walls and windows. Neighbors say this is the home where it happened and say they heard multiple shots, but waited for police to arrive before seeing what happened. I was in my hallway, blank of a moment. I just heard they tell like five words for the gunshots, like 10, 11, going off. Saturday, JSO reported two people were found shot and hospitalized, but there is no new information on that second victim. Looking at our News for Jack's records, so far this year, at least 22 children under the age of 18 were shot in Jacksonville. Seven were killed, one was accidental. In a release, JSO said investigators continue in their attempts to identify a suspect in the tragic incident that left this undeserving child in what appears to be a lifelong medical battle. We are asking for anyone situated in the area of this crime to review surveillance video for possible information that may assist in this investigation. And no one in the neighborhood was able to tell me who lives there or give me the names of the folks that live in that house. Police need your help finding the suspect or suspects in this shooting. So if you have any information, contact JSO at 904-630-0500. And tonight on News for Jax at 11, I speak with crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson about this shooting. We're live at JSO, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.